Subscribe to our channel and click on the bell button to receive important financial updates faster than anybody else. Friends, welcome to another video on your channel Profit Nequities. In this video, we'll be talking about Motila Loswal's top 10 stock picks for the year 2019. Please watch this video to know more. Now the first stock on the list is Titan Company Limited which is available at Rs 922.70 and the face value for it is 1. The target price here has been set at Rs 1105.00. The symbol for it is TITAN. Now the Titan Company Limited is engaged in offering watches, jewellery and others. As is evident from the one year chart, the company has been choppy throughout the entire year. Now Motila Loswal believes that the wedding season demand is scaling up well for Titan. If consumers continue flocking to its stores during the wedding season, jewellery sales growth of 25% for the full year is achievable. Same store sales growth is likely to contribute 75-80% to of the jewellery sales growth, which is even higher than the impressive 60% that was reporting earlier. This in turn would have extremely positive implications on the jewellery EBIT margin. Revenue growth opportunity of 20% is immense and far superior to peers. Also, the margin trajectory appears to be on an uptrend. Motila Loswal expects 25% EPS CAGR over the FY18-20 to 20 period. The second stock on the list is the Indian Hotels Company which is available at Rs 148.45 and the face value for it is 1. The target price here has been set at Rs 163. The symbol for it is INDHOTEL. Now, the Indian Hotel Company manages 17,145 rooms across India and international locations around 85% of which are in the domestic market. Indian hospitality industry is set to enter into an upcycle led by favorable demand supply dynamics. Industry occupancy, which is 67% currently, has already breached the optimum level allowing players to exercise pricing power. The company also has an edge in terms of operating leverage given its high fixed cost proportion and efforts to rationalize expenses. Motila Loswal expects it to record revenue and EBITDA CAGR of 9% and 25% respectively over FY18-20. to now the third stock on the list is Marico Limited which is available at Rs 378.10 and the face value for it is 1. The target price here has been set at Rs 465. The symbol for it is M-A-R-I-C-O. Now Marico Limited is a consumer products company operating in the beauty and wellness space. The company's principal products include edible oils and value added hair oils. The company's geographic segments include India and international which includes primarily the Middle East, the Sark countries, Egypt, Myanmar, Malaysia, South Africa and Vietnam. Now there has been an evident step up in the pace of new launches over the past 18 months with couple of notable successes for Marico. The recent pipeline and successes so far could enable a new era of growth for Marico if all goes according to plan. Strong performance of parachute volumes continues in the recent quarters along with healthy growth prospects in the value added hair oil segment. Marico is also among the pioneers on extensive usage of technology in distribution and with augmentation of analytics is creating another sustainable mode for the future. Motila Loswal expects revenue and PAT CAGR of 15% and 17% over FY18 to 20. Now the fourth company on the list is Oberoi Realty Limited which is available at Rs 451.30 and the face value for it is 10. The target price here has been set at Rs 574. The symbol for it is O-B-E-R-O-I-R-L-T-Y. Now, Oberoi Realty Limited is engaged in the construction and real estate development and hospitality business. The company's segments include real estate and hospitality. The company is involved in the development of approximately 40 projects that aggregates over 9.18 million square feet of space. It handles residential, commercial, retail, social infrastructure and hospitality projects. Now, Oberoi has one of the strongest balance sheets among real estate companies with negligible net debt, with strong monetization visibility, from its ongoing and upcoming projects, Oberoi is expected to generate healthy free cash flow over FY18 to 20. Motila Loswagel believes that such financial strength offers the company with an opportunity for value accretive land acquisitions to drive growth potential beyond the existing land bank. Oberoi plans to multiply its annuity portfolio from 1.6 million square feet to 4.2 million square feet, resulting in leasing income increasing by four times over the next five years. Motila Loswagel estimates revenue. EBITDA and PAT CAGR of 47%, 45% and 71% over FY18 to 20. Now the next company on the list is ICICA Bank Limited which is available at Rs 360.75 and the face value for it is 2. The target price here has been set at Rs 400. The symbol for it is ICICIBANK. 
Now, ICICI Bank is in the midst of an improvement in the operating environment due to stressed asset resolution and growth pickup and is showing healthy signs of earnings normalization. Motila Loswal expects momentum to accelerate from FY20 as the asset quality cycle peaks out, domestic business growth remains strong and the rising mix of retail adds more granularity to loan book. Further, they expect ICICI Bank to gain from the current crisis in NBFC space due to its strong franchisee in deposits along with superior customer reach across business segments. The next stock on the list is Aurobindo Pharma Limited which is available at Rs 723.95 and the face value for it is 1. The target price by Motila Loswal has been set here at Rs 920. The symbol for it is A-U-R-O-P-H-A-R-M-A. -A. Now Aurobindo Pharma Limited is a pharmaceutical company engaged in producing oral and injectable generic formulations and active pharmaceutical ingredients. Now the company has guided for two times the industry growth rate in EU market along with better profitability on account of transfer of 97 products from EU to India. Motila Loswal remains positive on Orbindo on robust ANDA filings rate, strong pace of approvals, minimal regulatory hurdles and the company outperforming the industry in the EU market. They expect Orobindo to record 24, 22 and 18% CAGR for revenue, EBITDA and adjusted PAT over FY18 to 20 with estimated return on equity and return on capital employed of 22% and 16% in FY20. Now the next stock on the list is Hindustan Unilever Limited which is available at Rs 1822.05 and the face value for it is 1. The target price here has been set at Rs 2140.00. The symbol for it is H-I-N-D-U-N-I-L-V-R. Now Hindustan Unilever Limited is engaged in fast moving consumer goods business comprising home and personal care foods and refreshments. Now, as is evident from the one-year chart, the company was primarily on an uptrend for the majority of the year, but after about the half of the year, a correction set in, but of late, it has again recovered in price. The company has a market cap of 3,94,409.86 crores, which means that the company is a large cap one. Now, HUL offers the best earnings growth visibility in the large cap Indian consumer space. Four key trends are helping HUL in elevating its earnings growth trajectory to around 20%. Number one, it's rapidly improving adaptability to market requirements. Number two, it's recognition and strong execution on naturals. Number three, strong trend towards premiumization. And lastly, it's extensive plans to employ technology and create further entry barriers. The acquisition of GSK consumer healthcare business pushes HUL among the market leaders in the only key category where it did not have market leadership, food and refreshments. Now the next stock on the list is Crompton Greaves Consumer which is available at Rs 224 and the face value for it is 2. The target price here has been set at Rs 260. The symbol for it is C-R-O-M-P-T-O-N. Now Crompton Greaves Consumer Electricals Limited manufactures and markets a range of consumer products. The company's main products and services include lighting products and electrical consumer durables. Now Crompton is a leading player in the Indian fans industry with a market share of around 25%. The company is looking to aggressively target the premium category of fans while retaining its market share in the standard category. The light electricals industry is poised for robust double-digit growth over the coming few years, largely driven by growth in LED. Compton has undertaken multiple cost rationalization initiatives to combat the margin pressure in the lighting segment. Motila Loswal likes Compton for its strong product portfolio, wide distribution network and robust return on equity profile. Now the next stock on the list is Infosys Limited which is available at Rs 656.95 and the face value for it is 5. The target price here has been set at Rs 800. The symbol for it is INFY. Now Infosys Limited is engaged in consulting, technology, outsourcing and next generation services. Now as is evident from the one year chart, the company was primarily on an uptrend for the majority of the year. However, of late it is slightly corrected. Now Infosys has built capabilities to match spend shifts in the past 3 years and digital revenue now accounts for around 30% of the company's revenue. Infosys has also been one of the most disciplined companies in terms of operational efficiency in the last couple of years, which has helped maintain margins while investing aggressively in building capabilities. The acceleration in growth momentum aided by a pickup in verticals like financial services and retail and the visibility for its continual from recent deal wins provides confidence of improvement in the coming quarters. Motila Loswal expects Infosys to register a revenue and a PAT CAGR of 8% and 13% over the next three years, largely driven by the digital segment. Now the final stock on the list is Larson and Tobro Limited, which is available at Rs 1439.40 and the face value for it is 2. 
The target price here has been set at Rs. 1570. The symbol for it is LT. Now Larsen & Tobro Limited is a technology, engineering, construction, manufacturing and financial services company. Motila Loswal feels that the key positive triggers for LNT are number one, the pickup in private CAPEX cycle supported by government CAPEX, number two, the timely execution of strong order backlog, and number three, which is the divestment of the non core assets and networking capital cycle improvement. Now, divestment of the non core assets like LNT cutting tools, EWAC alloys, etc., and networking capital cycle improvement is in line with Project Laksha. In Q1 FY19, LNT signed agreement with Schneider Electric for sale of its electrical and automation segment for a cash consideration of Rs 11,200 crores. Motila Loswal expects LNT to register a revenue, EBITDA and adjusted PAT CAGR of 13%, 19% and 20% respectively with margin improvement of 130 basis points over FY18 to 20. Now friends, please don't consider this to be a recommendation on our part. Please go ahead and do your own research. This and all of the content that you see on our channel is intended to be a piece of news. Thanks for watching. And if you have not yet subscribed to our channel, please consider doing so.